Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex. It's cold in here, man. I, is it cold? It's cold in here. Baby, it's cold inside. No, you know, you know that song is problematic. I do, that's why I'm singing it to you. But it's also kind of a good song. <laughs> Musically. Yeah. Uh, what do we got? What we have first is a gift from patron saint Patrick Cohn. Look, I need, can I just have an ever-present whiskey? Do you have the sunflower spirit? You, you know what you did. <laughs> I totally you did. You know what you did. You did that on purpose. All right. All right. No. You're, You're getting up? You, you can wait. get up? You just wait. I think that breaks the rules of the vault uh, now. Uh-huh. You getting yeah. up. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to go with the ceremonial whiskey. The ceremonial whiskey. Huh. I just, the it's problem just, of overchoice. There's no rule of law in here anymore. There's it's, just mass it's just, chaos of Lord of the Flies. You know what? I mean, you, you apply bullshit laws and eventually. Who is more likely to get called piggy in this environment? There is a revolution. I'm just saying. There is a revolution. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Patrick Cohn. <laughs> Wait a minute. Patron say. Yeah. Patrick Cohn. You patron saint of whiskey. Now the second one, that was perfectly in unison. Shimmy, 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 pop, pop. I, I suspect that you were offbeat. <laughs> yeah, that's all. That's likely. You're the one offbeat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the drummer, not you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is very exciting. Yes. Finally. Are you not cold? We're getting no. Finally, we're getting to. I've been used to being bald for a long time. <laughs> all the heat goes out the top of your head, Rex. It's, like, it's just it's a new experience it, for you. It feels like anybody that shaved their head, they yeah. know. It feels like you're. It's just wet. It's always wet. Yeah. It's just wet because it's like the feeling of water in your skin evaporating. That wetness, that cool. Because your brain interprets a cool head with damp head. Yeah. Whereas bald people interpret that with it's air. Just, <laughs> just even this, the rush of this. Very cold. <laughs> Just that breeze. Don't go to a headbanging concert. All right. So this is actually super exciting because I think finally we're getting American distilleries and American producers doing some of the cool sh that Scotland does on a normal basis. Okay. Okay. Fine. We'll talk about the whiskey, even though I would really like to explore headbanging technique and protocol. Nope. Go ahead. All right. This is how I suffer. So I remember Barrel Bourbon has gotten famous recently for oh, yeah. making award-winning blends of bourbon from other distilleries. Yep. So the blending palette is really magnificent. This is their first blended malt. Okay. Now they're calling it a vatted malt in a nod back to Scotland's original term for blending malt distillery whiskeys together. Vatted malt. Vatted malt was the original Scottish term instead of blended malt. Okay. It means that you took a bunch of malts from different distilleries put them all into one tank and let them marry together, and then you bottled it. Hmm. It was called vatting. And uh, they switched that term to blended malt, but vatting is still sort of a old school Scottish term. And so what they did was they worked with six distilleries in the US oh, blending nice. only malt whiskey. Nice. Yeah, we're so, yes, this is And better. if their palate on this is anywhere near as good as their palate on their bourbons. No, that approach, though, that, that's near and dear to our, our hearts and interests these yes. days. Because finding, first and foremost, amazing ingredients to work with, and then putting together something in proportions that come out with even, it, it leverages the quality that you had at the beginning, and then you arrange and tweak those. I'm going to tell you some people who are something. in here in a second after we try it. Okay. Because I'm excited to see if we no, can pick it out. No, the nose is beautiful. We should say words yeah. about... So, yeah. right now, on the nose, I do get that malt grain forward note. Yeah. But then surrounding that is this, like, really dense honey note. So, I'm getting, like, this really nice... See, you ever have cucumber water? I'm not saying cucumber. It's not cucumber, but cucumber water. Where it sort of lifts and... Yeah. Uh, not I'm, minty exactly, but not... Yeah, the the Fresh. nice essence of the cucumber it gets in, it infuses into the water, and it then on the nose I'm getting like um, there's this really nice wildflower note 
but it's not just raw wildflowers in a field. It's like the, the nice essence of water, wildflowers has been infused into a liquid and you're not getting the whole and complete wildflower, but you're just getting that like the nice, sweetest, most floral elements of it. I like the, there are some floral notes in here too. There's something else though that's not musty green. Hold on. And it's a little spicy. Hold on. Huh. The people watching know. Yeah. You know. Go ahead. What? I just went on. Put on for like a solid minute. On, yeah. And then you, then you said there's some floral notes too. I thought you were talking about the light floral part of cucumber water. I'm saying there's some actual flowers in there. Continue. Never listen to me anymore. It was a rant on cucumber water. I lost. It wasn't of, about cucumber water. I lost track. Of it wasn't about water. cucumber water <laughs> at all. <laughs> but <laughs> it's like it's like when you're a little kid before they're old enough to walk and they throw a fit Flutter. and all they can do is arch their back. But they can, and you're like holding them with one arm. Yeah, and yeah like, you can just pick them up. And yeah, you're just all like, arched and stiff. Yeah, uh, and like, right. <laughs> There's a almost smoky note in here that's more like toast, toasty note than yeah. smoke. Yeah, it's um, there's definitely like some, some. It's, it's a sweeter whiskey. It's a beautiful nose. It's sweeter whiskey. It doesn't have a tremendous amount of funk. I'm not getting like a smoke, smoke element like that trace that you're talking mm -hmm. about. We're not talking to Isla smoke. We're not even talking like campfire. No. Yeah, it's like that's what I say. It's more like toasted. Yeah, you yeah. know, like yeah, uh, fifty-eight point seven five percent alcohol. Maybe like a slight honey granola in there. It's really nice. What's the proof you, you just said it? What was it? Oh, there it is. Oh, there's a rich burnt, wow. like a, it's gotta be peat. <clears throat> it could be mesquite. You think? It could be mesquite wood because I know one of the people who's in here. Yeah, it's this like char wood campfire note, but densely interlaced with all of these candy See, the sweet butterscotch that, notes. The thing that struck me was how incredibly dense and saturated the sweetness was. Yes. That was the first thing that struck me. Yeah, but it's it's almost like, uh, so by the way, 58.75%. Okay, so it's, it's probably, probably like a cask it, relate, yeah. But, uh, you know when you've, have you ever seen like pictures of like when they find gold in a rock and it's, stone but it's got all the interlaced veins and threads of gold yeah i'm seeing that dense sweetness is like the interlaced veins of gold and stone mm -hmm. but it's interlaced through mm. all these toasty mesquite wood smoke so it earth comes like it's melted into mm -hmm. like this sweet character yeah yeah because i don't think i would i would naturally just pick it out as um there's a smoky note but the character of smoke, like that, that uh, oh, intensity good. of smoke, which is interesting. Okay, for, uh, I'll finish the thought before I move on. That intensity of smoke is lending itself to the sweet, saturated elements. And I'm not picking a standalone smokiness. I'm just like a very infused, integrated um, character of... So the, the, the effect, that the clinginess, that's what I'm looking for. The clinginess that you mm -hmm. get from smoke, I think that's contributing to the clinginess of, of these sugar. really dense, saturated, sweet flavors. So look, this might be one of my favorite American blends I've ever tasted. Yeah, it's really nice. And it's in, I'd, it's, I'm trying to think of something comparable. In we're taste? Still, we're still in American whiskey for sure. Yeah, and it's still more vanilla than it is, like there's no sherry musty funk. Hmm. There's all the vanilla caramels and the butterscotches and the buttercream sweetness. Am I finding a- Floral and butter. Am I finding a peat note? Like I go back after the, the sips, right? And on the nose, I'm thinking I'm starting to tease out a little bit of. That's why I was saying it was, a little bit it was of more of this like foresty, earthy note. Yeah, but earthy. it almost becomes smoke, but it's not quiet. Definitely earthy, yeah. Now I added a little water of mine. So what's, what's in here? Oh my God. I'd buy, I wonder if they have more bottles of this at Specs. I'm gonna go check after this. Uh, they partnered with, are you ready? Balconis. Okay. Uh, Hamilton, which is Del Bach, which we love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, MGP, yeah. so malt, malt from MGP. Is Del Bach Arizona or New Mexico? New Mexico. Okay. I mean, sorry, 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 sorry. Arizona, the other one I'm thinking of is New Mexico. Okay. Ari Tucson, Arizona is Del Bach. Okay. Uh, Harvest Distillery, which I've not heard of in New York. Okay. Santa Fe, 
New Mexico, right. that's the okay. one that we're talking called Kagan. Yeah, yeah. Right? And then Kings County in New York. Dude, they just kind of... They just, like, yeah. who's who. They knew where to go. Whiskies, yeah. That's impressive, though. <laughs> that means that they are very much finger on the pulse of who's doing what in the world of whiskey. Yes, they are. For them to go through and pick... I'm familiar with most of those. For them to go through and pick... like out of the sea of whiskeys mm-hmm. and then go right there. It's like, yeah, you know where interesting things are happening. Yeah, really good whiskey. Oh, okay, you got comments over there, mm-hmm. but I'm just gonna enjoy this whiskey. I like it better at cask strength than water added. The water tamed. The water was, tamed to the smoke of all it things. It did, it did. It was like, I was starting to tease out that little bit of the earthy peat and I put in the smallest amount of water and that's not there anymore. Mm-mm. I'm just left with some sweetness. That's an interesting effect, though. I wouldn't have expected that mm-hmm. from, from the water. I would have expected the oils from, and are we even sure there's peat? Because it was, it was just a faint thing. I think there is. I don't know which one of the distilleries did it. Right. But, yeah. There was that earthiness that really seems like a Scottish But peat. both Dolbach and uh, Colcagan oh, used mesquite. mesquite. I wasn't really So the peat me. could have come from Balconis if it was a peated barrel. That wasn't striking me as a mesquite, though. I mean, it could have been. I don't know what Harvest Distillery is doing, so maybe because. I don't know. Yeah. I'd be curious to know if we were totally, totally off base on the peat in it actually being a different type of smoke contribution. Martin Schelvander. I think it's Schelvander. Schelvander. We've had this discussion for like four years. <laughs> <laughs> Martin's been around since the very beginning. Every time, every time we're like, is it Schelvander? And then every, every once in a while he's like, you guys nailed it this time. And then the next time we're like, Schelvander. what was it? <laughs> I'm going with Schelvander. Schelvander. Okay. Uh, Rex Williams, you should try the double fold if you feel experimental. The double fold. A professor I once had did this. He took the hair behind his bald scalp, folded it forward, buried it in hairspray, and then folded it backwards. So you get a pompadour. I don't know if I have that length, though. I think you do. You have to go all the way forward. And then back. And then back. I can go forward. I don't know if I have enough to go back. What if you What if you went sides across the cover, <laughs> and then forward, and then just enough back to get the pompadour? Right. First of all, have you seen how much has come in it? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you, 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 you I don't get, want to talk about it. You want to get in close? No. Right here? No. Nope. I mean, it's like I'm I didn't good. even shave recently. It's, I'm, I'm about a week away from not having a cold head. How you it's still going to look like a skullet, right. though. <laughs> it's still going to look, it's pretty soon going to be like the trashiest of moments. <laughs> like the feathered hair. Dude, the side eye that I get, and you know, because you got like the mask and yeah. whatever, wherever you're going. But the, you, people walk by and they're just, just like, like, oh, who is that guy? And they can tell, like, this you is, know, a, look, this like, is just, an optional thing. I just have to in. ask you, have you gone to Walmart recently? No. no. Because if you do, right. you're going to end up on people of Walmart's Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's going to happen. Uh, okay, folded it forward, buried it in hairspray, folded it backwards so it resembled a pompadour of sorts, then repeat. Challenge, With hairspray, you're where? Challenge should be accepted. I mean... I, I don't own a hairspray, though. Uh, we can find some hairspray somewhere. All right. Uh, we'll, we'll get some hairspray. We'll see what we can do there. We got John Stinson. <laughs> hey, another episode where they forget about the beverage and tell stories, then remember. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hey, I was doing so good. Yeah. I wanted to camp out on headbanging technique. Yeah, you paused. Right? Right? I shelved it. That would have been an amazing, amazing piece of content for everybody that knows good content. Uh, uh, and tell stories, then remember why they were there in the first place. I love it. Keep up the good work. Thank you. <laughs> Notice that John makes up so it. much our people. Starts with the ball busting and then goes into the, eh, yeah. it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. That's good stuff. Yeah, very impressive whiskey. I, I really this. like what's going on there. I think it turned out amazingly well. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, a fight for a friend. You steal me, you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us.